Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am with a new video where I will discuss important tips to deal with during your research in the laboratory. How to remove your triphenylphosphine oxide produced from the Wittig reaction or Mitsunovi reaction. It is another really problematic um, compound like impurity sometimes it create a problem during purification or like during workup of those reactions so let's see how we can do it so triphenyl phosphine oxide PPH double bond O it is produced from the Wittig reaction or like Mitsunovi reaction so that compound is or that impurity is Kind of insoluble in cyclohexane or hexane and also like uh, distilled water so you can do two ways to remove this um, first of all you can add ether in this compound then you can uh, if your compound is soluble in ether so it will be easy to remove by this way so dissolve your compound organic part in ether a diethyl ether and then layer it with a pentan or like hexane sometimes mostly people do the pentan so and then keep it in room temperature next day you will find like crystallizing out so that ph PPH double bond O, PH3 double bond O, like triphenyl phosphine, phosphine oxide, will crystallize out in that um, non non polar solvent. So you can filter it out and you can do uh, one or two times. So by this way, you can remove. In another way, you can make a zinc um, complex of that compound. So um, if you dissolve your whole compound or crude in methanol or ethanol, especially ethanol, and then you can add zinc metal or zinc chloride. So it will form zinc complex of, with that uh, PPH3 double bond O, like triphenyl phosphine oxide with the zinc. So um, here I'm showing a uh, two paper uh, reference where people use different techniques to remove um, that uh, side product or like triphenyl phosphine oxide by using metal like zinc or other techniques. So you are more interested you can look those papers so um, this is the way like when your compound is ethanol soluble so in that case if you add ethanol in your product like crude and if you add the zinc and stir it for room temperature for like one or two hours then it will form the complex with the zinc and the triphenyl phosphine oxide zinc complex will be solidified and you can filter it out and your compound will be in the ethanol solution so this will be easy way in some cases uh, that compound is like highly polar but if your compound is very non-polar like hexane movable so you can just do silica filtration so in that case your compound will move with the hexane and your the triphenyl phosphine oxide will be staying in the silica so I hope it will help you to remove this triphenyl phosphine oxide from uh, any reaction like Mitsunobi reaction or Wittig reaction or any other reaction where you can think like the product might be triphenyl phosphate. 